thought defense, uh, per the usual, uh, outstanding. Um, you know, through these first six weeks, we've played a gauntlet of quarterbacks. And um, I know we haven't gotten all wins, but we've embarrassed all of them. And uh, just really, really proud of, of the defense and its resolve. Uh, thought Brick and the staff had a, an excellent game plan. Down three corners, four of our six corners. Um, I thought our D line was good in terms of keeping that uh, kid in the pocket. He's a handful. Hurts their their O line, the receivers. Thought our guys battled all the way through. Um, proud of them. Robert uh, Tony Adams is a guy you've believed in you know, since he got here. What, you know, how about him just coming up with a huge play there? Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, right on time, <laughs> but uh, no, he's he's been great. He's, you got to remember, he's he's young. He's a second year player, and as excited as we are about him, we we know he's going to have some ups and downs. Um, uh, but the ups are going to continue to become more and more frequent. He is a, a freak athlete. Uh, it's important to him. He's a tremendous communicator. He's got tremendous explosiveness and speed and instincts, and uh, and, and and I stand by it. I, I think he's going to be a fixture here for a while. Uh, Bryce Hall, just talk about like the importance he's meant for your team the last couple of weeks. Bryce, oh man, he. Uh, I, I said in our in the press conference earlier in the week, you know that that kid, when you you go from starter, and then you watch the organization draft someone and then pay someone and you really get relegated to to backup duty and he kind of remakes himself on the on the special teams and always preparing himself in the way he needs to. Um, Again, Tony Oden, uh, I thought, did a great job with that entire group, you know, just getting them all ready. And uh, with all the different personnel groupings, we were trying to mix and match and uh, uh, moving our corners around so they couldn't get a beat on it. And uh, I thought, you know, with a guy like Bryce, you can't do it without a guy like him and his ability to communicate. He's so smart on the football field and uh, and really managing the back end and making sure we were aligned the way we needed to be every play. And, uh, you know, he's he's awesome. He's such a, such a good dude. Robert, if I would have told you once – Sauce went down. That you were going to hold the defending NFC champs to 14 points. Hertz was going to turn it over three times. What would you have said? Any, gi- any given Sunday. <laughs> any given Sunday, man. But you know, I, like I said, I think uh, you know I'll argue. I put Tony Oden up there with the with with everybody in terms of his ability to coach and get people where they need to be. And uh, you know, our coaching staff did a really nice job. And and there's no fear. You know, like uh, I've I've always said, uh, players, you go tell a backup. That he's a backup and that he doesn't deserve to be a starter. You know, th- those guys came out there. There, uh, Craig James, I thought was fearless. Had a huge pass breakup in the end zone. Um, had a couple of nice tackles. Uh, you know, Tay Hayes comes in. He's only been here a couple weeks to learn our system, which is complicated from his own standpoint. It's not like you're coming out here playing man. He's got to learn it all. And and um, you know, just kudos to that to that group. Like I said, four out of the six of our six corners were out this week. And. Uh, and we made, and even at the end, Michael Carter uh, missing those uh, a lot of time in the in the fourth quarter, and still the the guys piecing it together and managing to uh, put together a good game. We're that freaking close offensively, um, and it's you know just you know he, we we run the boot, um, you know it's a sack, but you know just miscommunication on what should have been there should have had somebody in the flat there, but uh, for for Zach to throw the ball, uh, get the ball to which would have been a first down, you know. So you look at all these what ifs, the penalties. Um, could have ran a hit by, you know, on the uh, on Lazard's uh, personal foul. If he just hit by, like you know, you see on special teams, you don't get called for the crack back. And now we're first and goal inside the ten or whatever it was. Uh, so a lot of opportunity. I thought they uh, offensively, we did a really nice job moving the ball, um, especially in the second half. I know the the yardage isn't going to look like that, but uh, look look good. But I thought we moved the ball well in the second half, and we gave ourselves opportunities. We just, like I said, like you said, we, we got to finish. We're that freaking close. I think we will. Sorry, Robert. You're okay. Uh, for a team that was staggering for a couple of weeks after losing Aaron, you know, so suddenly, what does a win like this over that kind of opponent do for the overall confidence and mindset of the team? Uh, it's a big win. I mean, they're NFC champs. We took the AFC champs to the wire, the world champs to the wire. Uh, we beat Buffalo. Um, you know, probably let one slip away with the Patriots. It is what it is. But uh, – and then the Dallas game is what it is. I'm, you know, I think we'll always be in all these games. I don't. I think we can go toe to toe with anybody. Um, it says a lot about this group and and how mentally strong they are, and how much they love one another and appreciate one another, and fight for one another. But uh, you know, we're going to continue battling. We're going to continue to try to find a way to write our story for this year. And uh, obviously, winning this game going into the bye week is nice. But 
we had a big one last year too. We've got to come out of the bye week with even more more intent and more of that mindset and continue to find ways to get better so we can finish stronger. Aaron, Aaron was throwing on the field before the game. Has he impressed you with, with how quickly he's, I mean, it's not, what is it, a little bit over a month? It's, from the it's unbelievable. I've, uh, a lot of people I've talked to, like, I won't name names, who have also had that everyone's in awe that he's even walking. And uh, for him to be on the sideline, um, standing the entire time, he's he's a freakazoid. <laughs> did he have to clear anything to be on the field before, like to, for him to stand on the sideline? Did he have to clear any hurdle, or was that just you guys making that call? No, that's him. He he said he wants to be on the sideline. He's going to be on the sideline. What did you think of the way Zach played? I thought he did a good job. You know, there's some things that we can clean up third down wise. Um, you know, finishing in the red zone is always going to be the thing that the quarterback's got to uh, got to got to own, but. You know, I think he's doing a good job. He's give, he gave uh, Garrett a couple of chances to make some plays. Um, I thought the drive where you know we were inside the ten yard on the hip block on the uh, on the crack back. I think he, I thought that drive was awesome from him. Uh, you know, but he's going to get better. He's going to continue to get better. Our offense is going to continue to get better. Um, but this was, but I, uh, like I said, I think he's played a gauntlet of defenses here in the six first six weeks from Buffalo, Kansas City. He's been lights out. Dallas obviously is lights out. Patriots have a really good defense, and obviously Philadelphia is a, is one of those top five defenses. So, and he's been playing pretty good ball, and I just think he's going to get better as the year goes on.